Hollywood history is bursting with tales of behind-the-scenes turmoil and thespians who can't stand one another. But it's pretty rare for stars to have an issue so serious they refuse to get physical with a co-star on camera. Here are some actors who didn't want to touch each other. Allison Hannigan and Jason Segel played a married couple on the CBS sitcom How I Met Your Mother. But there was one major problem plaguing their long-lasting TV matrimony. Hannigan dreaded getting physically close to Siegel because he was a smoker. She told Digital Spy, "...it's like kissing an ashtray, and he's trying to be polite by having gum or mints, but it doesn't help." To solve the problem, Siegel decided to try to quit smoking. He agreed to pay Hannigan $10 for every cigarette he smoked on set. When the first day yielded a $200 debt to Hannigan, Siegel realized the financial incentive went up in smoke and decided to quit cold turkey. He didn't smoke for about a year, but Hannigan said he got stressed out and he started smoking again. Julia Roberts handpicked Denzel Washington as her co-star in the big-screen adaptation of John Grisham's The Pelican Brief. But while their characters develop a romantic relationship in the book, Roberts and Washington never locked lips on screen. Many moviegoers assumed this was by Roberts' design. She told Newsweek, "...I have taken so much shit over the years about not kissing Denzel in that film. Don't I have a pulse? Of course I wanted to kiss Denzel. It was his idea to take the damn scenes out." Washington explained to Newsweek that he opted to forego love scenes with Roberts due to concerns about how the interracial love scene would play with his core audience of black female moviegoers, saying, "...black women are not often seen as objects of desire on film." Washington shared the story of a test screening of his earlier film, The Mighty Quinn, during which black women vociferously booed during a kiss scene between Washington and white actress Mimi Rogers. While Twilight superfans got to choose whether they were Team Jacob or Team Edward, Kristen Stewart's character Bella had love scenes with both characters. Stewart told Us Weekly her love scenes with Jacob, played by Taylor Lautner, and Edward, played by Robert Pattinson, were markedly different. She felt steamy scenes between her character and Lautner's character were, quote, "...so against everything that Bella's always been." She also said she felt more comfortable in intimate shots with Pattinson, partially because she had many more love scenes with him than Lautner, and, perhaps more importantly, because Stuart and Pattinson fell in love while filming the first Twilight film, and remained a couple during shooting of the entire series. The couple even won an MTV Movie and TV Award for Best Kiss. But when it came to making out with Lautner, Stuart confessed that their love scenes were immensely awkward. She said she and Lautner had "...so much fun with this stuff because our intimate moments are so few and far between, and weird." Sometimes, co-stars shy away from physical contact because they don't know each other well. But in the case of Harry Potter co-stars Rupert Grint, who played Ron Weasley, and Emma Watson, who played Hermione Granger, it was the fact that they knew each other too well. When their characters ultimately shared a kiss, it felt wrong for both of them. Grint told People, "...I've known Emma since she was literally nine years old, and we had this very brother-sister relationship, and it just felt very surreal." Kissing Watson was so cringeworthy for Grint, they didn't rehearse the smooch and shot the scene only once. He said, "...one take was enough." Grint said, "...it was such a huge moment and there was so much expectation. Quite a lot of pressure, actually." Jennifer Lawrence's first sex scene was in the film Passengers, in which she co-starred with Chris Pratt. During a roundtable discussion with The Hollywood Reporter, she admitted shooting the scene felt bizarre. It was weird. It was, um, and everything was done right. Mm. It wasn't anybody's fault. Nobody did anything mm -hmm. wrong. It's just a bizarre experience. When asked how she prepares for a steamy sex scene, Lawrence candidly replied, quote, "...you drink. I got really, really drunk." Unfortunately, being inebriated exacerbated her feelings of guilt about kissing a married man. The actress said, "...it was gonna be my first time even, like, kissing a married man, and, like, guilt is, like, the worst feeling in your stomach, and I knew it was my job, but I couldn't tell my stomach." Gossip Girls Penn Badgley and Blake Lively had an off-screen romance that added heat to their love scenes on the show. Their real-life relationship fizzled, but their characters remained a couple, which made for some awkward moments on set. During an appearance on Watch What Happens Live, Badgley was asked about his best and worst on-screen kisses. He said the answer to both was Blake. I'd say best. I'll, I'll, say, I'll say it was Blake because we actually had a relationship at the time. Right. And then, and then the worst, maybe Blake after we broke up. But he said the two remained, quote, "...consummately professional after their breakup." 
Adding, I think we should both pat ourselves on the back for getting through it. You know, anything is complicated in that way, and we handled it. Kurt Cameron, best known as the oldest sibling in 1990s family sitcom Growing Pains, has been outspoken about how his beliefs as an evangelical Christian relate to his profession. Cameron told The Hollywood Reporter, "...you have to be true to your higher values. As an actor, you're playing someone other than who you are, but as a human being, you need to be who you are." For that reason, as he explained to Today, he flatly refuses to kiss anyone other than his wife of 17 years, with whom he has six children, on or off camera. Cameron's character in the film Fireproof had a kissing scene with co-star Aaron Bethea. In order to stay true to his beliefs, Cameron's wife, actress Chelsea Noble, was brought in as a body double for the scene. He told Today, "...when I'm kissing my wife, we're actually husband and wife honoring marriage behind the scenes." According to TMZ, Lindsay Lohan created a production delay during the filming of Scary Movie 5 when she refused to kiss co-star Charlie Sheen. A source told TMZ, quote, "...Lohan ultimately refused to do it because of Charlie's wild partying past." The specific source of her concern was not revealed, but Sheen's penchant for adult film stars and prostitutes is no secret. The source said both Lohan and Sheen were asked to sign releases confirming their mouths were free of cold sores. But Lohan refused to kiss him, and a body double was ultimately used during kissing scenes. TMZ reported a source as saying Sheen was, quote, "...cool as a cucumber about the whole thing." After shooting wrapped, he even gave Lohan $100,000 to pay off back taxes she owed the IRS. Two years later, Sheen publicly revealed he had contracted HIV. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about Hollywood happenings are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.